The Conservative Party have confirmed about they, they have fears about cyber hackers. In the last few minutes, the Conservative Party has told Sky News, we have consulted with the National Cyber Security Centre throughout this process, that's the voting process, and have decided to enhance security around the ballot process. Eligible members will start receiving ballot packs this week. Well, Tory HQ have also released a, a letter that's been sent to party members, all 160,000 or so of them, uh, warning them that the process has been delayed and the need for increased security. The letter says, thank you for your patience. Uh, your ballot now is on the way, but will arrive with you a little later than we originally said. Don't worry. This is because, the letter says to members, we've taken some time to add some additional security to our ballot process, which has delayed us slightly. And it talks about when you receive your pack, you can vote online or by post. And uh, it, then it goes on to say, if you have not received your ballot by Thursday the 11th of August, please email the Tory party. And uh, it talks about how it's an offence to vote more than once. And uh, the, uh, if you do, you'll have your party membership withdrawn. This letter is from Sean Duckworth, who is the head of membership for the Conservative Party. Now... The warnings have come from this uh, National Cyber Security Centre. That is part of uh, GCHQ, the UK's listening post. And uh, the Daily Telegraph is uh, reporting that, that GCHQ warned that cyber hackers could change people's ballots. And uh, the Telegraph also says the Tories have been forced to abandon plans, uh, which many uh, uh, people thought were unwise anyway, to allow members to change their vote for the next leader. The Telegraph quotes um, a uh, spokesman for the National Cyber Security Centre saying, defending UK democratic and electoral process is a priority for the NCSC and we work closely with all parliamentary political parties, local authorities and MPs to provide cyber security guidance and support. And the uh, quote goes on. As you would expect from the UK's National Cyber Security Authority, we provided advice to the Conservative Party on security considerations for online leadership voting. So that's uh, what the uh, security people are saying. Tory HQ have confirmed that they've... Uh, had consultations with the, the GCHQ uh, people, the cyber security experts, and have decided to enhance security uh, and admitting to members there is going to be a delay. You'll recall, of course, that China, Russia and Iran have been accused of interfering in elections around the world. There were accusations of... Uh, uh, attempts to interfere in the 2020 US presidential election. Well, uh, this is uh, quite a twist, uh, an unexpected twist in the drama of the Tory leadership election. The threat of cyber attacks, cyber hacking, being taken very seriously by the Tory party, so much so that the, the issuing of ballot papers has been delayed, although they are insisting they will go out later this week.